Hello and welcome back to Ohio Richlands for episode 9. We just checked up on the sheep and filled it up with water, so they're good to go for today. But while we're here, we will show you this, our bin and auger. The bin holds 95,000 litres in total, and just now we've got just over 23,500 litres of barley. The auger is the Meridian TL1239. Right, I'm going to head down to the store because as you've just seen, we bought a new bit of equipment. It was in the sale and it only cost us $8,972 and it is the Cavernerland 85112 Tedder. It's 11.2 meters wide, so it's not a bad size. We do need it because when we're making the TMR for the cows, you need hay, uh, silage and straw. So the hay, you need the tedder. And it also means we've got spare hay bales if we run out of grass for some reason and we need to feed our sheep. So we're just going to fill up quickly with diesel because we are running quite low and we'll head down there and grab it. We did notice there's a truck, you may have seen it in the sale as well. It's the Phoenix D60 and it's only $42,800. It's 52% off. We debated about getting that, but it could mean we pull a bigger trailer because we did look at trailers and you know what we could do from there. We could get a Lord King Super B, that's $138,000. And if you're going big, you're going to have to do it right, so we're going to need an auger wagon. Well, that's another 115000 It does mount up very quickly, but we're hoping, if we keep an eye on the sale, a couple of times throughout the day, we're hoping one of the bigger trailers comes up for the tractor. I was looking at the Crosetto triple and quad axle trailers, because they hold a stupid amount. And it also means fewer trips, and we can spend more time in the field. But... As for now, we'll go down, pick up the tether, come back up, and because there's nothing else to do, we're just going to jump into tomorrow. So, we'll catch you tomorrow. I've actually just noticed that our field is ready to harvest. So let's hope another harvesting contract comes up so we can rent a header and make it worthwhile. Well, that's us completed that contract. So, let's go and collect the money for it. $13,056. Now, let's see if there's anything else to do and head back to our yard. Well, we have a couple of contracts. Potatoes on field seven, 21,000. And sorghum in field 27, 13,800. So I think if we do the sorghum first, that means we can rent the header and clear our field too. So we'll go and get that done first. If we've got time, 
uh, we may do the potato contract. I've never done that one before, so you'll be joining me on the first time doing it. Well, I've already nipped down to the shop, rented the header and dropped off at the field. So, grab the trailer and head over there. The combine does need a bit of fuel, so I'm gonna grab fuel for it first and then head over. So we'll see you at the field. Well, that's us back with the, what I'm hoping it is the last load. There's still 7,500 litres in the combine, but this trailer should complete the contract and give us some income of some sort. I'm not sure why it stops like that when it's tipping. But that is the contract completed and we gained $2,616 from the harvest. So let's go and grab the rest from the combine, come back and see what we get. Well, this isn't going to be much, maybe about two, two and a half thousand, I think. Yep, there we go. $2,682. So, we'll go back to the farm and let's see if there's anything else to do. But first, let's go and harvest our own field of oats. Well, let's quickly check the prices. They're pretty much all the same. The closest one's a farm shop. $434 per thousand litres. So I think we're just gonna head there just now. 
Well, we've got 11,723 litres out of that field, plus we have the straw, which we don't really need, but I think we're going to bail it up and take it down to the biogas plant. Anyway, I'm going to head over to the farm shop just along the road here, get this sold. We'll see you there, see how much we make. Well, that's us here. Let's see how much our first harvest on our own field has made us. It's not a very big field, so I'm not expecting a massive amount. Oh well, $5,095. That's not too bad. Well, before we forget, let's go in and complete that contract for field 27. That's worth $13,864. There's still a potato harvesting contract. That's worth 21, almost $22,000. It's on field seven, so where's that? It's a massive field. I know potato harvests are generally good paying. There we go. That's not a bad size field. Let me think about it and we'll see what to do. I'm quite intrigued though. I've never done a potato harvest, so we'll maybe try it out. We'll see you in just a minute. Well, we decided we're going to give it a shot. I've never done potatoes before, so I don't know how long this is going to take, but considering the width of where it would take in the potatoes, is very small and I did have a quick look in the shop I think it's about three meter width so I think this is going to take quite some time but as I said I've never done it before so you're joining me on the first time I've done it so this could go wrong but it's something new and I want to try it because it could be useful for a future for us if it's a high yielding crop or you know we can do something with it I think I know you can do fries with it in productions that's all I know so far about it because I've never really done it but this looks interesting, a weird and cool kind of looking machine, but it's going to take some time. So let's get to it.
that's us done the potato harvest. Whatever's left in here, which it either not close enough or it's not on, but whatever's left in here, I get to keep and do what I want with. So I'm just going to take it straight to sell point. Yeah, it's turned off. So we'll quickly jump in, fire it up, and unload it. But it's been great using it. Something different to do. I did think it was going to be quite tedious at three meters wide, at, you know, six miles an hour. It's combine speed. It's just instead of you know, 12 to 15 meters wide, you're doing three meters at a time. So it's very time consuming. As you can see, it's quarter to one in the morning. The price for potatoes isn't very good, although it's very high yielding. It's like 136 to 145 dollars a ton or per thousand liters. So it's not very high paying but it is very high yielding. Uh, I don't know what like the state was of the field beforehand, if it was properly done, like ploughed, fertilised, limed, all that stuff, I don't know. But we've pulled about 10 loads out here, so that's about 299,000 plus, I think it was about 15,000 we just took out of there, so, you know, you're well into 300,000 litres of potatoes on this little field alone. But the machine, that's not something you want to lease all the time, because it's $600,000 which is ridiculous, but amazing bit of kit, nonetheless. Something to look forward to in future. I know there's a production of fries to advance the potatoes on to make even more money out of them, but as for now, I think we'll just stick to our grain crops because we have the combine for it. But let's take us up to the sell point and see what we get for it. So that's us up at the sell point now. And we've got 15,567 litres of potatoes. Money is not really rising quick for the amount that's coming out. Yeah, $2,207. So that's not really a lot. But that's it done. We can now complete the contract. We've still got a fertilising contract to do. So I think we're going to drop the trailer off at the yard. I'm going to bail up our field first so it's done uh, maybe sell the bales first and then we'll go and do the fertilizing contract but that's it done twenty one thousand seven hundred and eighty seven dollars it's not too bad really at the end but let's go and do some baling Well, I was just topping off the water for the sheep and checking on them. You will notice the money has dropped by 20,000. So we did pay off the rest of the loan. So now we have no loan with the bank. Now we've got $53,373 left. We have some wool, almost a full pallet. So it should be ready by the morning. So they've got plenty of food and plenty of water. There is, uh, there was, I was looking at it, there is, we have a couple of cultivating contracts. Not a bad price either, 13864 Where's field 27? There we go. Well, we'll do that one. It's well past midnight now, so we'd be as well keep going, would we? Uh, field 7, 6033, 3000. Oh, field 7, that's the one we just did with potatoes. Oh, that's handy. Where's the other field? Here we go, top right. Um, yeah, be as well. We just get them all done. That finishes up the day. Right, I'll crack on. And we'll get these done.
So that's the two tillage contracts done. Field 7, 13,864. And field 7, 6,808. We've still got the one left. We've still got a fertilizing contract. As soon as we've got this tractor, we'll be as well do that last cultivating contract. That'll get us $3,239. So we'll see you up there. So we've nipped in past the store to grab two bags of fertilizer. That cost us $3,640. And we'll head up to field 21 to complete that contract. So we'll see you up there. Well that's it for this field, it's been quite a long day and night and morning again, it's 10 to 6. But now that we've finished we'll get our money for the contract, it's $8,270. There's still a canola contract for sewing, I don't see the point in doing that just now because the cost of renting or hiring a cedar, you're not going to make much money off the contract. A quick check of the sale, still nothing any use to us yet. Right. It's been such a long day and night, I'm going to head back to our yard, I'm going to get a couple hours sleep, I will see you in the morning. But that'll do it for now for this episode, and we'll see you in episode 10 very soon. I really appreciate all the subscribers and the views, so thank you, and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>